The American Association for Health Freedom recently posted an article titled, When is a Vitamin Not a Vitamin? When the FDA Says So. In September of 2005, Council for Responsible Nutrition, CRN, Senior Vice President of Scientific and International Affairs, John Hathcock, PhD, wrote a letter to the FDA stating that pyridoxamine is unequivocally a dietary ingredient because it is one of the three primary natural forms of vitamin B6 and it is one of the two predominant forms in animal products to use as human foods. But now, thanks to a petition filed with the FDA by Biostratham, the North Carolina-based manufacturer of a pyridoxamine-based drug called Pyridorin, which is designed to prevent the progression of diabetic neuropathy kidney disease, on January 12th, the FDA announced that pyridoxamine dehydrochloride was a new drug. This means that the FDA now has effectively prevented any substance containing pyridoxamine from being marketed as, as a dietary supplement. Never mind that the fish on your lunch salad and the chicken on your dinner table both contain pyridoxamine, as does brewer's yeast. The status of pyridoxamine has been debated by Biostratum and the Council on Responsible Nutrition CRN, via FDA petitions since July 2005. The issue was whether pyridoxamine was protected by Deshay, the law protecting supplements passed in 1994. Marketing pyridoxamine as a dietary ingredient is fully supported by the science behind this form of vitamin B6. The CRN statement warns that a precedent could be established in which the status of other ingredients is challenged as well. Companies have to keep long-term records to make sure they can substantiate that ingredient has in fact been marketed previously as a dietary supplement. A key vitamin form that is presently at risk is P5P, the natural form of B6 that can be used directly by the body without conversion. Because some people have difficulty converting synthetic B6 to P5P, elimination of P5P could make them entirely dependent on drugs for survival. Human beings cannot live without B6. Yet another drug company petition asks the FDA to ban P5P just as it has banned pyridoxamine. If you have not already sent a message to the FDA against banning P5P, please do so now. And you can click on this link. This action by the FDA speaks to the fundamental need for reform of the agency. AAHF believes the FDA needs complete reform and restructuring in order to rebuild the American healthcare system and make it once again the envy of the world. Please visit www.reformfda.org to sign the petition and learn more.